What's going on, fellow smart mathematician people, guys? You know what time it is, right? It's time for that meme battle. So Andrew Dawson has sent me 15 math memes that I am to review. I sent him 15 physics memes, which he has already reviewed, along with flammable maths. So it's time for our turn to get started. So let's see what we got here. All right, meme number one. When you're talking about even numbers, but you gotta stab Caesar at eight. Okay, first of all, I like being put on the right side of history. Long live the Republic. Uh, so just for that, uh, the joke matches the costume. Uh, overall, it fits together really nicely, but it doesn't have that wow factor for me. It just, I don't feel a connection with it. It doesn't spark any emotions, you know? So. In theory, it's good, but it doesn't work for me. I'm gonna have to go with a three out of 10. It might seem harsh, but uh, yeah, final answer, three out of 10 for this one. Good looking dude though. Meme number two. Guy, you're the most average girl here. Girl, wow, you're mean. Guy, no, you are. See, that's pretty funny because mean, 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 mean is another word for average. Okay, rating. Um, Oh, it's cute. I'm gonna have to go with a four out of 10, but we'll go ahead and round that to a three. So three out of 10. All right, meme number three. Your soul is mine. Ooh, wait, I've heard that somewhere, like a video game or something. I wanna read it in that voice, but I don't remember. Your soul is mine. Sucking in the soul. Let epsilon be less than zero. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, on a small side note, I was reading Math Stack Exchange one time, and someone was doing an Epsilon Delta proof, but instead of saying, let Epsilon be greater than zero, he said, let, let X greater than zero be small. And I like, I had to stop reading right there, but yeah, this is pretty funny. Uh, it, it looks horrible, and yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with, um. I have to go to eight out of 10 for this one. But again, like, let's go ahead and round that to a, a three out of 10. So we're gonna go with a three out of 10. All right, meme number four. I'm probably gonna lose count. So from now on, let's just call them meme number in. Uh, proofs are hard. Oh wait, that's, shit, that's the comment. When you factor a polynomial and the resulting factors you get have to be factorized again. When you integrate, I knew that was coming. When you integrate by parts, the resulting integral has to be integrated by parts again. Yeah. When you're proving something and your proof hinges on something else being true, which you now must prove. Yeah. Lemma. Uh, I love saying that. Lemma. Let something. Oh, little helper theorem to prove my big theorem. It's a nice feeling to declare a lemma in a proof. I feel like that's such a like a, a pro move. Maybe not. But yeah, this one's pretty funny uh so i'm feeling like about a seven out of ten so let's go ahead and round that to a three out of ten meme number in physicist let's just assume the series converges mathematician but isn't that illegal <laughs> the face of the facial expression is so perfect here <laughs> oh man okay uh that's pretty good i'm gonna have to uh, Man, I, I guess I'm really emotional when it comes to memes because some of them I can acknowledge as being really good, but they don't just light up that spark in my heart, you know? And this one does. So for that alone, you know, I'll have to go with, I'll have to go with, we'll say a seven-ish out of 10. So let's just round that and say a three out of 10 as the final rating. All right, meme number N plus one. 
A topological group G, which is, wait, wait, a topological group G, which also carries the structure of a differentiable manifold, such that the group multiplication G cross G to G, A, B to A, B, as well as the inversion G to G and A to A, are differential maps. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, that's a big definition to unpack. Uh, people got mad at me for explaining stuff too much last time, but um, plus I don't really, I, I think a topological group is a group where the, the action given by multiplication is continuous. And if it carries the structure of a differential man, dif differentiable manifold, so a manifold, a differential manifold, that is isomorphic to R n. It's second countable isomorphic to R n. No, locally homeomorphic. Locally homeomorphic to R in and second combo. Yeah, this is a big definition. I don't remember this. <laughs> mean number n plus two. Mathematicians, you can't just treat dy dx as a fraction. Physicists, observe. Let me point something out, okay? If you Google this question, is dy dx a fraction? My advisor gave an amazing answer to this question on Mass Stack Exchange. Like, he, my, my advice was like, what well, used to be huge on Mass Stack Exchange, but yeah, I'm gonna link to that uh, in the comments. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you can, sort of. I mean, I would say, hmm. Sure, I would say you can treat it as a fraction. It's just that it's, it's not literally one. I think it algebraically behaves quite like we would expect a fraction to behave. I don't know though, it's weird. Oh, wait, did I rate these? Did I rate this? I forgot to rate this one, crap. I forgot to rate the last one, crap. Okay, this one with the big definition that I can't quite remember. And the sweating, just like I was actually doing when I was trying to remember it, that really hit home. So, um, nine out of 10, rounded to a three out of 10, final answer. And back to Larry, is it Larry? Observe. That's good, so, right. I'm gonna rate this one a, I'm gonna go with an eight out of 10, or say a 7.5 out of 10. Round it to three. Meme number N plus M. Proof by contradiction. Well, yes, but actually no. Yeah, kind of. So, yeah, I don't want to explain too much, but proof by contradiction is, is so cool, man. Like, ah, uh, it, it just, it just, I don't know why it feels easier, but the idea of a proof by contradiction is say you, you have this thing you want to prove. Well, you assume it's negation and show that it's negation leads to some absurdity and or a contradiction. And then that means that if the negation of what you're trying to prove implies an impossibility, it must be false. There's like a Latin phrase for that, like my, my not, my, modest pollens or some sh shit, I don't know. <laughs> Meme number N plus M plus one. When you end up with another integral, oh crap, I've got the rate. Mm. Okay, rate, rate the mean. Six out of 10, round to three. Meme number n plus m plus one. When you end up with another integral after integrating by parts, were you killed? Sadly, yes. But I lived. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, you know, in these in these problems where you're computing integrals, it's it's interesting because what they really mean is compute the integral as an, I guess you could say elementary function, because obviously an integral, if you're, if you're allowed to express it however you want, you can just, you know, 
put the variable in the, in the limit of the integral and whatnot, you know, and that's, that's an expression for the integral, of course. So when you do integration by parts and you still have an integral, what you have is the, is the integral, but it's not being expressed totally in terms of elementary functions because you still have an integ integral, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, right. Uh, I, can, oh, I can hear his voice. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, first perfect score. But I mean, you know, for simplicity, let's go ahead and round that, round that <clears throat> to a 3 out of 10. It's me. Hey guys, before we get started, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. C4? Come on, man. Hmm. It's pretty funny, but I mean, huh. All right, let's take a quick break to thank today's sponsor. This is Woke AF. It says, warning, high stimulant. That's how you know it's the good stuff. So yeah, check that stuff out. Uh, I don't feel it anymore. I don't feel anything. I don't, I don't feel stimulants because I have such a high tolerance, but I mean, it basically brings me to normal energy levels. So yeah, check it out. I'm gonna have to, okay, the C4 is, a, is a, I have to take some points off for that. But the idea of a pre-workout company or a supplement company sponsoring math videos is awesome. I'm trying to get Gymshark to, to sponsor the math department at my school, but they haven't responded yet. Um, I'm going to have to go with a 6 out of 10. Some points are taken off for the C4 versus like a real pre-workout with like something with the word meth in it as an ingredient. Not like meth meth, but like I, I'm going to edit that out. <clears throat> Yeah, so six out of 10. Let's, let's go ahead and round that to three out of 10. <clears throat> Meme number N plus M plus K. From my deep momery. 0.999999999 equals one. Yeah, that's not true. It needs to be an infinite number of nines. This, this damn little thing. I mean, I don't think anyone actually takes it seriously. It's just like a few like crazy people do, but yeah. Yeah, we need an infinite number of them, then it's equal. So, I mean, technically what they wrote is wrong. So I agree with the Power Ranger. That's Halo, I knew that. Um, Man, I suck at this, but I'm gonna have to go with a five out of 10 or, you know, three-ish out of 10, we'll go. Meme number N plus M plus K plus one. Non-chameleon, non-chameleon. Non-chameleon, hold on. So it looks like we're taking an inner product and it's not zero. Non chameleon, is that supposed to rhyme with something? Ugh. So if it's an inner product and this is non zero, we could say that they're linearly independent in some sense. I need more context, I'm confused. Non chameleon non-abelian, but this doesn't look like anything. Oh, wait, unless this is the abelianization? No, this, no, that's, that's, what is that? Oh yeah, that, is that a symbol for the abelianization of a group? Ah, oh, I think it is. God, I can't believe I don't know this. I think that's an, the abelianization is not zero. No, that's the commutator subgroup. That's the commutator subgroup. And it's not zero. So it's non-abelian. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> eight out of 10. And uh, so we'll just say it three out of 10. Um, hope I got that right, that, that's that's hard. I, I, I think that this is, the commutator subgroup, and since the commutator subgroup is not zero, the group 
is non-abelian or non-chameleon. Maybe I'm looking way too much into it. Did I screw that up? Okay. <clears throat> Meme number N plus M plus K plus two. Ish, I don't know, I lost count. When you're trying to use the math app to check if you got correct answer. Crap, that's the comment. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like this polynomial does not divide the other polynomial. So it's in the best form it could be in. <laughs> Doesn't really do it for me. This is gonna be bad. Um, I'm gonna have to go with a two out of ten here. And let's uh, yeah, yeah, two out of ten. Round to three. Okay. <clears throat> it's isomorphing time. <laughs> so, so they all right? Okay. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they're all isomorphic. Man, the Green Ranger was super underrated. When I was little and the White Ranger replaced him, I was pissed. Green Ranger was so much cooler. Uh, six out of 10, round to three. <clears throat> the best foot comment. Mom, can we have a bijection? No, there is a bijection at home. Bijection at home, identity function. That is the bijection. That is the bijection from which all bijections are just trying to imitate. That's the bijection. Oh, that's why the comment says the best function. I agree, it's a great function. All right, so let's go with a solid seven out of 10. Round us to three. Wait, is that it? Is that all of them? Oh, this is fun. No. Damn. Okay. Whoops. Looks like I am done reviewing these memes. They were pretty funny. This is fun. I really wish that I would have had the idea to make memes of Andrew Dotson and Flammable Maths with their face. That would have been awesome. Like when I saw Andrew did that, I was really upset that I didn't think to do that when I sent him my memes. But oh well, you know, I learned. But oh well, you know. So anyways, yeah, that was fun. Uh, apparently if I lose, I have to do, I have to peel a potato and worship the winner and do 30 push-ups. So, you know, I'm ready, you know, let's, let's do it. I don't... Those, I love to peel potatoes. I love to do push-ups. So, you know, this is a win-win for me. Anyways, yeah, so I'm done with this. <laughs> Thanks for the invitation, Mr. Dotson. Thanks for also participating, Mr. Flammy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video later.